Hello, good day, grade 10 student of AHS. Welcome back school. I hope that all of you are safe in this time of pandemic. Today, we will talk about different concepts in consumer health education. By the way, I am Sir Mark Anthony N. Butter, your MAPIC teacher for this school year. Okay class, let's start. Familiar ba kayo sa word na consumer? If the answer is yes, well, that's great. Pero kung hindi pa, huwag magalala, dito si Sir Mark, para tulungan kayo. Ayan. Ano nga ba at sino nga ba ang consumer? Tanungin ko kayo, naranasan nyo na bang bumili ng sarili nyong gamit? Tulad ng shampoo, sabon, at lotion? Kung oo, ang inyong mga sagot, ipig sabihin, awag po sa inyo ay consumer. Okay. So, dako tayo dito sa consumer health. Ano nga ba ang ibig sabihin niyan? Consumer health refers to the decision you make about purchase of product and use of health information and services that will have direct effect on your health. Tanungin ko na naman kayo, class. Are you a wise consumer? Or hindi? Mamaya, malalaman natin kung ang inyong sagot sa tanong ni Sir Mark ay wise nga ba? O hindi. Okay, let's proceed. There are three components of health consumer. Number one, we have the information. Second one, we have the product. And the last one is the services. Okay class, let's now proceed to the first component of consumer health, the health information. It is the data impacts you got from media and people including the professionals and agencies. So, health information class ay maaari rin uh, advice na nagbumula sa iba't ibang sources. Ayan nga, pwede sa media or sa mga professionals na maaaring makatulong upang ma-address ang health status ng isang individual. So, meron tayong dalawang klase na information. Okay, let's come now class to the first sources of health information. The first is the reliable health information. Saan nga ba ito nagmumula? So, reliable sources of information class are licensed professional who took up specialized and intensive studies in the field. They are one who have the qualified educational background and can give scientific explanation to validate the information. So, napaka-importante na ma-identify natin yung reliability ng ating mga sources, lalo na pagdating sa information. Di ba nga, class, kapag nagre-research tayo, uh, kailangan natin uh, ma-sure yung nakukuha nating mga information ay reliable or kapanipaniwala. So, some sources are considered to be reliable because, yun nga, ang sabi natin kanina, they have been written by people who are expert in the field. Sino sila? Yung mga doctors, yung mga nurses, ayan. Tapos, itong mga sources na ito ay talagang mapagkakatiwalaan natin. Okay? Okay? Kung may reliable sources of health information, meron din ang reliable sources of health information. So, this information are those from people who are not expert in this field. Okay. So, ayan. So, plus, ang Wikipedia are not reliable. Yung mga mahilig dyan gumamit ng Google, tapos nagwi-Wikipedia, masasabi pa na natin siyang uh, ang information dito ay hindi reliable or maaaring walang katotohanan. Bakit? 
Kasi yung author may not have thorough knowledge or full understanding of a topic. Remember, kahit sino ay pwedeng mag-post ng information from or in the internet. And we need to be critical readers in order to determine what to believe. Nakatanda nyo ba yung tanong ko kanina? Wise ka bang consumer? Ayan. Sana, unti-unti nang nasasagot yung tanong ni Serm. Okay class, let's come now to the second component of consumer health. The health products. It is defined as those substances which gives energy or make the person healthy. Health products are vitamins, minerals, herbal, medicines, homeopathic preparations, probiotics, and even traditional medicines are also prescribed by doctor or any equivalent physician. So, itong mga health products nito class ay pwede nating mabili sa supermarket, sa pharmacies, sa hospitals, or kahit na nga sa tindahan or convenience store. Ayan. So, may alam ba kayong uh, examples ng health products na ginagamit nyo ngayon? Maaari nyo bang i-share? At uh, isulat sa papel? Pwede nyo ring uh, submit sa darating na webes kasama ng inyong module. Ayan. The third and last component of consumer health is the health services. Open connected to healthcare, this refers to health information, actions, procedures, or work performed to help satisfy your needs as consumer. Health services class are usually offered by healthcare providers. Sino yung mga healthcare providers natin? Sila yung mga trained professionals who provide people with health care. So, there are uh, different types of health care providers. Andyan yung mga health professionals, katulad ng doctor, nurses, mid-tech, yan, health providers sila. Andyan din yung ang tinatawag nating healthcare facilities. Sino yung mga nasa healthcare facilities? Ano-ano yun? Andyan yung hospitals natin. Dito sa Ligaspi, meron tayong Albay Doctors. Meron tayong BRTTH. Ayan, meron na rin tayong Daraga Doctors. Meron din tayong uh, public and uh, private hospitals. Meron din class na yung Walk-In Surgery Center. Ayan, healthcare facilities din siya. Sa mga barangay natin, meron tayong health center at mga trained professionals at mga healthcare facilities. Ayan, yung mga nagbibigay sa atin ng uh, health services. Okay class, are you familiar with this word? Quackery. Quackery is a form of health food. In advertisement, promotion, or sale of products and services being scientifically proven, safe, and clean. It is being operated by a quack. A huge amount of money is spent on fraudulent health products and services. Okay? So, maraming nasasayang na pera, maraming nasasayang na mga produkto dahil uh, sa mga quacks na ito. Sino ba siya? Sino ba sila? Okay? So, what is an individual that has a little or no professional qualification to practice medicine? Ayan. Sila yung mga pretending, no, class? Sila yung mga pretending na uh, magagaling na doktor, kuno, pero, uh, ang totoo, ay wala silang kaalaman patungkol sa mga uh, health product and services or information na ibinibigay nila sa tao. Kumbaga, nililito nila yung tao sa mga ino-offer nilang uh, produkto na mismong 
uh, sila yung nagawa. Ayan. So, meron tayong class, uh, tatlong klase or forms of wackery. Ano ang mga ito? Okay, the first one class is the medical wackery. It includes cure, treatments, and remedies of various health conditions that are drugless or bloodless in nature. The second form of quackery class is what we call the nutrition quack. Involves promotion of food plants and other nutritional practices that claims to be all natural, which are believed to have beneficial properties of multiple plants and one product. Ayan. Yung mga kapsul-kapsul dyan na tinatangro sa atin or inaalok sa atin na 10 in 1 nga yan. Uh, it helped nga to fight uh, cancers or other diseases. Ayan. So sabi nga dito sa kasabihan class, no apple cider vinegar will not cure your belly fat. You still need diet and exercises. Ayan. So, mag-reflect tayo dyan. Sinasabi ng uh, kasabihan na ito. The last one is device quackery. Device quackery make use of miraculous gadgets that are believed your certain health condition. So, it pertains to the claims or information about the products that are too good to be true. Okay, class. Ano ba yung ibig sabihin ng uh, too good to be true na kasabihan? Ayan. So, isama nyo rin sa ibibigay, uh, sa isasabit nyo sa Thursday, kasama ng inyong uh, module. Ulitin ko po ha, ano yung ibig sabihin ng too good to be true? Ayan. So, next week, Uh, sa next video lesson na ibibigay sa inyo ni Sir Mark at uh, talakayin natin kung anong ibig sabihin ng uh, word na ito or phrase na ito. Ano pa? You are faced with health information and products every day from different people and forms of media. But to simply note, The source of information in products is reliable or unreliable may sometimes be not known. It is also important to learn how to evaluate the reliability of the health information, products, and services we acquired and get. Sabi ko nga po kanina, maging wise consumer tayo. Huwag tayong padalos-dalos sa pagbili ng mga health products na gagamitin at ginagamit natin. That's all for now. Hope you learned something from Sir Mark. Thank you and bye-bye.